हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम इन ऑनलाइन लर्निंग सेशन टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट द एक्सरसाइज नंबर टू दैट इज एक्सटर्नल बॉडी पार्ट्स ऑफ कैटल एंड बफेलो सो लेट स्टार्ट अवर की पॉइंट्स वन बाय वन फर्स्ट वन इज ऑब्जेक्टिव देर आर फेरियस ऑब्जेक्टिव to study the external body parts of cattle buffalo swine or poultry some of them that is first one is to be acquaint and distinguish the species breed and individuals phenotype of cattle buffalo swine and poultry second one is to find out external abnormalities without information of body organs we can't find out external abnormalities of any organs third one is to know the usefulness and functions of each body parts The study of body parts helps in identifying the individual phenotype and also in carrying out scientific studies related to growth and development of the animals. Then the study also helps in the assessing defective body parts if any. Then judging of dairy animals and draft purpose animals required to knowledge about body parts. then placement of differentiating characters is easy when the persons know the body parts hence it is must to know or taking information of external body parts and their functions what are the precautions are to be taken during the studies first one is be careful and cautious while approaching the animals then do not forget to wins its confidence by calling its name carefully restrain the animal in travels or crate so that he or she cannot harm the labor or observer do not excite the animal and be aware of the their voices handle the birds carefully and hold them with its chest on your palm close to your body also the legs should be gripped in between fingers then material required for this practical a live specimen like cow buffaloes sheep goat etc then rope travis or crate cakes feed and fodder pegs photograph or chart model of cattle buffalo swine and poultry instead of live specimen if not available the body parts of cattle and buffalo as well as sheep and goat are same but 2 to 3 organs are different first we will see the body parts of cattle and buffalo which are same procedure for this examination that is carefully put the cow or buffalo in travis or crate then secure the animal against pole or any support and stabilize the animal by providing green or dry fodder the body of large animals or ruminant generally has four regions first one is head second one is neck third one is body and fourth one is limb included fore quarter and hind quarters head region included horns head crust pole face forehead nostril muzzle and muffle mouth eyes cheek and chin and ears whereas neck region includes neck crust dewlap and brisket which is same in cattle as well as buffalo 
then body parts include withers back include some parts that is chine loin hall of the flank hip bone chest and abdomen whereas limbs include two quarters that is four quarter and hind quarters four quarter also called as four limbs and hind quarter also called as hind limbs means legs four quarter includes sub parts that is hump shoulder shoulder blade arms four arms knee joint shank pachan fetlock cornet hoof and diclos whereas hind quarters included sacrum rump pin bone thigh tail milk vein milk mirror udder anus vulva scrotum and sheath in male etc first we will see the body parts which is first that is head this is one of the important region which helps to differentiate the breed from each other on the basis of head region we can identify the breed of animal or cattle the functions and location of different parts of head region are as under first one is horns they are in pair and situated on the head the functions of horns are self defense age estimation graceful appearance and breed characters next one is head crust it is a line joining the roots of the horns the raised portion of crust is called pore or nimbore and it is prominent in exotic breeds as compared to indigenous breeds next one is face this is the portion between the crust of head and opening of the mouth and has following sub parts first one is forehead the portion between the line of head crust and line of two eyes called as forehead next one is nostril or nose this includes the central bridge starting from center of the line joining two eyes and elongated up to the muzzle called as nostril or nose nostril are two opening at the lower end of the nose and respiration is the main function of this nostril included muzzle this is a black portion with gray spot above the upper lip muzzle indicates the general health condition during the sound health it is moist while it is during sickness next one is muffle the hairy portion around the muzzle having long bristle like hairs is called as muffle next mouth it is opening for intake of food and water it includes upper jaw lower jaw tongue teeth and dental pad called as upper jaw then eyes eyes are situated on each side of the nose bridge and comprises of eyebrow eyelashes eyelids and eyeball appearance may be defined as a bright dull and sleepy then cheeks side portion of face is called as cheeks the next one is chin side portion of face is called as cheeks here as this raised portion of lower jaw called as chin next one is ears ears are located on the side of the horns this is about the first part that is head next one is neck portion this is second part or second region of the animal's body this is the portion between he head and body it includes neck crust this it is lying between center of pole to hump this line is supported with heavy muscular growth next one is dewlap it is the fold of loose skin hanging below neck and in between chine and brisket it is prominently developed in zebra cattle and completely absent in buffaloes and exotic cattle next one is brisket fleshy bone like structure hanging in between four legs in known as brisket which is prominent in buffaloes than cows third region called as body this portion situated between hump and sacrum first one is 
either upper higher part of shoulder is called as wither or fleshy portion below the hump and above the shoulder is called as wither next one is back the portion situated between the hump and sacrum supported by ribs called as back it includes chine this portion is behind the hump and up to the point where last two ribs meet next one is loin a triangular portion between chine and sacrum called as loin then hull of the flank a triangular depression just below the loin on the both side called as hull of the flank where the respiration rate is check per minute then hip bone the raised bone of hull of the flank is termed as hip bone and they are two in number situated on the both the side of the body the distance between two bones indicate the development of reproductive organs in female the next one is chest bottom portion of body covered by ribs called as chest how to chest give in the circumference of the chest measured at the point of wither next one is abdomen the ventral portion of the body region uncovered by the ribs called as abdomen and it is consists of naval flap and naval point a fold of skin hanging in between the chest and udder or scrotum is called as naval flap fourth region that is limbs or quarters it includes four quarter and hind quarter four quarter this region has an importance in selecting the animal for trap called quality four quarter means four limbs or four legs it includes hum massive bulging and fleshy portion above the shoulder is called as hum it is well developed in males as compared to females and this is well developed in indian breeds and absent in exotic cattle buffalo and cross breed animals next one is shoulder uppermost portion of front legs called as shoulder and flat triangular bones of the shoulder called as shoulder blade next one is arm this is portion of legs in between shoulder and point of elbow called as arm next one is forearm and knee joint the portion in between point of elbow and knee joint called as forearm and joint between forearm and shank no, known as knee joint next one is shank this is portion between knee and pachan next one is pachan portion between shank and fetlock called as pachan next one is fetlock the portion between pachan and coronet called as fetlock and last one is coronet and hoop the portion covered with hair just above the hoop called as coronet and lower most hard portion of the legs is called as hoop there is there are two digit of the hoop and the gap between digits is termed as interdigital space hard back portion is heel front portion is two and lower po flat portion is called as sole last one is dew claws the hard finger like projection on back side of the pachan are called as dew claws then hind quarters this region provides the information on the development of reproductive organs mammary glands hence it is it has important role in the selection of dairy animals it includes sub parts that is sacrum it is a portion extending from loin to the tail root second one is rump it is a slopy portion located below the sacrum then pin bone the two projections on each side of the anus called as pin bone next one is thigh thick and fleshy portion of hind legs in between rump and hock bone called as thigh and generally used for putting identification marks in branding method then next one is tail it is a long hip like structure is continuous of vertebral column called as tail next one is milk vein a prominent zigzag vein starting from her to the udder 
and the veins get curved and bulge at the heart region with the depression is called as milk vein next one is milk mirror portion situated in between fall wall and rear udder called as milk mirror its wider size indicate capacious udder indicating high milk production ability in the female next one is udder also known as mammary glands the complete udder has four quarter from two quarters make four udder while hind quarters make rear udder each quarter extended with tube like structure known as tits next one is anus extreme end of the elementary gill located below the base of the tail called as anus for the excretion purpose the next one is vulva outermost portion of female genital organ triangular in shape and situated below the anus called as vulva it has an opening with two vulva leaves and it is common passage for urination and mating purpose then scrotum a male genital organ which is pouch or bag like structure in between two hind legs which accommodate testicle and it is present only in males it regulates the temperature from sperm production last one is sheath it is a skin or flap which is covers penis and attached to the body which is extended up to navel flap and it protect the penis from the external injury and scrotum and sheath is present in the male so this is about the body parts of the cattle and buffalo so thank you